Imagine you've boarded a ship. It's dark and the waves are high. They're rocking the ship and water is hitting the deck. Everyone on board is frightened. The ship is at danger of capsizing. In the midst of that chaos, your shipmates throw you into the water. And there, plunged into the water, utterly helpless, going down, 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 you find yourself in a huge space, something like a cavern. And you suddenly realize where you are. You're trapped in a sea creature, and of course you're terrified for your life. That was Jonah, he's called Eunice in the Quran. Fed up after years of preaching to the people of Nineveh, he lost hope and boarded a ship heading out of town. Instead, he found himself immersed in the darkness of the night, the darkness of the sea, and the darkness of the whale. Jonah found himself alone in the great unknown. Miraculously, the sea creature didn't devour him. He was still in one piece, but there was no escape. His situation seemed pretty bleak. In that moment, Jonah started to think. Yes, instead of panicking, he engaged in a process of introspection. He realized pretty quickly that he was wrong. Desperate, in need of help, he turned to God, knowing that only God could help him, and God did rescue him. In the Quran, God says that he caused Jonah to wash up on the desert shore, and God didn't stop there. Jonah was pretty ill, so God caused a tree to grow over Jonah to protect him and feed him while he was recovering. I hope you'll never be in a situation like Jonah's. While he was rescued eventually, he went through a terrible ordeal. But when we reflect on the actions of Jonah, we can learn important lessons about how to behave in the situation of uncertainty that we find ourselves in. First, even when we're frightened and confused and encountering difficulty, we can't just act mindlessly. We need to engage in introspection and self-reflection. When we're suddenly thrust out of our routine, it's the perfect opportunity to think about what we're doing right or wrong and commit to changing our ways. Jonah did that. The Quran says that he cried through the depths of darkness, saying, There is no God but you, glorified be you. Truly I have been of the wrongdoers. He demonstrated an awareness for not having acted in a way that God wanted, and he sought forgiveness. So too, in this situation where COVID is still running rampant, we can choose how to behave. We could sit and fret about all the restrictions that are taking place. We could get angry at our family members. We could overeat and oversleep. Or we could rethink our life. We could seek to change ourselves. We do have a choice. The second thing we learned about times of uncertainty and difficulty is that dua or supplication to God is powerful. Jonah appealed to God and God responded by saying, we answered his call and delivered him from the distress. Sometimes we think prayer is useless. We worry that it won't make a difference. Could God really care about little old me? But God does. Our God is not an absent God. God heard Jonah and responded to him at a time when no one else could. Do not despair of the mercy of God. Don't lament your situation. Don't give up on life. Hold firm in your faith in God and raise your hands to him. He can remove our difficulties from us and bring us to success just as he did Jonah. Third, God helped Jonah and showered his mercy upon him even though Jonah had done wrong. God kept him from drowning. He kept him from being eaten by a sea creature. All this happened even before Jonah had repented. After he pled with God, God brought him to land and covered him with shade and provided food for him to eat. And ultimately in the end, when Jonah returned to Nineveh, God made his people believers. God allowed Jonah to see his mission to fruition. Even when we sin, God is still with us. God does not abandon us. So three important lessons we learned from the story of Jonah or Prophet Eunice on whom be peace. One, use this opportunity for introspection, to change your ways and better yourself and seek forgiveness from God. Two, always believe in the power of dua to get you out of impossible situations. And three, never think that God has abandoned you, even if you've done wrong. I'll be back next time to explore the story of Hagar or Hajar. She too was alone in the great unknown. I'm Sophia Ali for Let the Quran Speak. Look, Sophia, my inbox is full. I have questions from our viewers. Wow, that's yeah. quite a bit. Your questions are coming out of my ears. That's why we've got something really exciting planned for you, a YouTube Live Q&A. You can join us live and Dr. Shabir will answer your questions as they come in. This event will kick off our special Ramadan programming as well as our fundraising campaign. It's all happening on Sunday, April 4th at 12 p.m. Eastern on our YouTube channel, Quran Speaks. And that's right before Ramadan. I can't wait to see what questions we'll get. Me too. It'll be fun to chat with you in real time. Subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss this event.